to the show is one of MLB The Show's biggest modes, and Sony San Diego Studios has done a lot to make it even better for fans. In a blog post on PlayStation.com, game designer Steve Merka detailed the changes coming to the mode in MLB The Show 18. Right off the bat, the mode has put an end to utilizing microtransactions to progress your players. Merka said that its removal was to put more of a focus on the gameplay and the road to the show experience. Instead of purchasing training points, there will be a new progression system. It was also mentioned that injuries in the mode will have to heal naturally instead of using stubs to quick heal. Moving on, there are new archetypes and attribute caps within the mode as well. Created players will have an archetype right from the start, forcing players to have a focus. From specific positions per archetype to a set of strengths and weaknesses, the archetypes are in place to create quote unquote more believable players. With the archetype also comes attribute limits based on what's chosen. There will be two types of attribute caps, current and max. The current cap can be raised via focus training while the max cap is the highest an attribute can go. The documentary-like experience returns for a second straight year in Road to the Show and has been expanded to tell the story of what it's like to be a quote mid to late round draft pick. This seemingly eliminates the potential of being a top pick in the MLB draft, though that hasn't been confirmed just yet. Speaking of that new progression system, MLB The Show 18 introduces players to focus training. Now a two-part system, the new progressions take into account what you do both on and off the diamond. The better you get as a player on the field, the more you'll be able to do. Every play you make or don't make in a game will impact your attributes in some way. If you make an error on the field, you'll see your attributes fall in real time. Off the field, there are different training choices. During a season, players will be given a quick choice experience that comes with various options that will allow you to choose how you want to train your player. There will be up to four facility types that each come with their own exercises, allowing you to pick how you want to build your player up. There will even be an option to learn from your teammates in order to improve. As far as the less critical portions of the mode, Road to the Show player creation will feature improvements to the heads, skins, and hair that you can choose from. In addition, the new batting stance creator will allow you to put your personality into the game in a way that's never been seen before. Now personally, it's hard not to like the changes coming to Road to the Show. As someone who's against microtransactions, the fact that they're being removed puts a huge smile on my face. Additionally, I like the idea of adding archetypes to the mode because it'll make the created players more realistic. Though I was as guilty of it as anyone else, it felt strange creating a player who could be the best shortstop, outfielder, catcher, and pitcher ever. This should make the decisions in the mode that much more critical to your path to becoming a Hall of Famer. I'm also happy to see the documentary presentation return. I just hope it doesn't become as repetitive as last year's did. Lastly, though it's not confirmed either way, I'm not too sure on the idea of only being a mid to late round pick. I'd like being rewarded for my dominance in the showcase games by being a first round selection. But that's me just being somewhat nitpicky here. What do you think, sports gamers? Are you excited for Road to the Show and MLB The Show 18? Let us know in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online for more great MLB content.